Hello and welcome to Flip RSS. I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up a multi RSS newsletter using Flip RSS and Mailchimp. We're going to set up the account from scratch, uh, set up Mailchimp from scratch, and we'll get a full campaign up and running to the point of sending. So let's jump in. First of all, we're going to go into our Mailchimp account, and I've already set up a test list. This has no subscribers. Um, but we're going to use that as our basis. You can do this to a list that already has subscribers as well. Um, the first thing you have to do if you haven't already is set up groups. And what groups will enable you to do is set different categories that people can subscribe to when they sign up. So a new subscriber can select what's of interest to them. And with Flip Process, we can deliver just the content that they're interested in. That's hugely powerful. So within your audience, go to Manage Contacts and go to Groups. If you already have groups set up, you'll see them here, but this audience list has no group set up, so we're going to create a new one. You've got options for how people can select their interests. We want people to be able to select more than one, and we're going to call this interests, and we'll have Seth do Spark Toro. We'll add a new group, and we'll call it Patagonia. You can delete groups, you can add new groups at any time. And once you're done, just save that. And now your subscribers to this list will be able to pick what's of interest to them. So that's us done in MailChimp for the time being. So if we go back to Flip Process, when you register with Flip Process, you can register using your MailChimp sign-in. This will take you off to MailChimp and ask you to approve the sign-in. Once you do that, the two accounts will be linked and this will make setting up campaigns so easy. So when you log in to Flip Process, this is what you'll see for the first time. Link to help files and the option to create a new campaign. So let's do that and we'll just call this Flip RSS test and we'll create that. So it's quite a familiar layout. We've got a to, from, what feed you want to add. That's a new section that you won't be familiar with. Template you want to use and how you want to send this. So all we have to do now is from our list, select Flip Process. So this is going off to MailChimp and looking at what audience lists you've got within that account. You pick one. You're obviously going to want to be able to see what your newsletter looks like before you send it to a live audience. So by selecting Use Test Send, we can add your email to the audience list within MailChimp, and we can set a specific tag that we can call when we do test sends. This will mean when we come to doing a test send, it will send just to this one account, but you'll get to see how the newsletter will look, and it will automatically subscribe this user to all the feeds within your account. So once we're done, we can click Save there. So we're going to call this the from James at, at Flip RSS. Our from email is going to be james at fliprss.com. Now, if, if you use a domain that isn't verified within your MailChimp account, you will get an error message here. So you have to make sure, just as if you were sending a campaign from within MailChimp, it has to be from a verified domain. And if you click on here and look, sign into your MailChimp, you'll be able to see which domains are verified within your account. Give your campaigns good subject lines and preview text to help with open rates. And once you're done, click Save. So now we want to add our feeds and we want to specify which groups within our MailChimp audience list we want the feeds to show for. So let's go ahead to Seth's blog and grab the feed for there and go back to Flip Process. Paste it in here and hit Return. And it adds the feed to your account. So we can say how many how many posts from that feed we want to appear, a maximum number of posts we want to appear. So we want maximum number of five posts from Seth's blog to appear. We want that to be shown to everybody who selects Seth in their interests. And here we can choose the layout. So you've got a number of options within your account. You can have this feed appear in line, so with an image to the left, text to the right, block, image above, headline and description below, hero, which is just the image and the title, or text only. So for Seth, we want that to be text only. There are other options. You can set to have new items only. So if Seth's blog only posts two items since the last newsletter went out, it'll only show those two. It won't pull in the latest five. 
and you can opt whether to show that feed title within your newsletter or not. So we want to show that the posts below are Seth's and then you can also remove the feed from here. We'll also go back and we want to add the do lectures feed. So we'll go back into our flood process newsletter, add the do lectures, select five, do, and this one we're gonna make our hero. In fact, we'll make that one newsletter and we want one featured post from the do lectures to appear at the top of our newsletter. So we can reorder that just by dragging and dropping. Spark Toro, we'll just grab the feed from there, paste this in. Again, we can change that. We can select people who are interested in Spark Toro. We'll leave that at block. And finally, we're gonna grab Patagonia videos from YouTube, add the feed. We want the latest three, and that's people who are interested in Patagonia. That's it. So once we're done, we'll click save there. Now templates, we haven't got any templates in our MailChimp account yet. So you can either use your own newsletter template. You just need to add a small snippet of code within your template where you want the feed content to appear, or you can import our test campaign. Now this is great if you once you want to just test flip process, see how it works, see how the feeds are output, see that it does pull in the correct content um, and customize your output. Once you're happy you can then go ahead and make your, your templates. This is really good for people who don't know how, co how to code or aren't fully comfortable with coding. So let's go ahead and import that into our MailChimp account. So there you can see it's dropped that template straight into our campaign in MailChimp. So going back to here, it's still not appearing in the list, so we just click refresh. Now there, now you can see that template set up. Now that will have flip process headers and images, but it will it already has this code in, included. So you can go back into this, you can edit it, you can change the images and the text and design that how you want. or you can leave it as is for the first newsletter test. So once we're happy, we're gonna click save within Flip Process. And then finally, you select how you wanna send it. So you can see now that we've completed the setup, send test has appeared here. You can then also go in and say, once you're happy that the newsletter is exactly as you want it, you can start to set a schedule for it. So daily, weekly, monthly, yearly or manually, so just when you come in and choose to send the campaign. We'll do it manually, and we're gonna save that. And for this occasion, we're gonna send a test, so Flip Process is now sending this information off to MailChimp. MailChimp will then pick this up, send out the campaign. And that's it, that's your first campaign set up and sent. When you go back into your, Flip, into your MailChimp account, You'll be able to view your reports, see the open rates, see who, who's open just as normal. And you can go back through edit, you can change the templates, set your schedule, and your multi RSS campaign is ready to run. Thanks for trying Flip RSS, and as always, if you've got any problems or questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch.